scorpion and the frog. One day, a scorpion looked around at the mountain where he lived and decided that he wanted a change. So he set out on a journey through the forests and hills. He climbed over rocks and under vines and kept going until he reached a river. The river was wide and swift, and the scorpion stopped to reconsider the situation. He couldn't see any way across, so he ran up river and then checked down river, all the while thinking that he might have to turn back. Suddenly, he saw a frog sitting in the rushes by the bank of the stream on the other side of the river. He decided to ask the frog for help getting across the stream. "Hello, Mr. Frog," called the scorpion across the water. "Would you be so kind as to give me a ride on your back across the river?" "Ribbit, ribbit, 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 ribbit." "Well, now, Mr. Scorpion, how do I know that if I try to help you, you won't try to kill me?" asked the frog hesitantly. Because the scorpion replied, "If I try to kill you, then I would die too. For you, see, I cannot swim." Now this seemed to make sense to the frog, but he asked, "Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit, what about when I get close to the bank? You could still try to kill me and get back to the shore." Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. This is true," agreed the scorpion. But then. I wouldn't be able to get to the other side of the river. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right then. How do I know? You won't just wait till we get to the other side and then kill me," said the frog. Ah, crooned the scorpion. Because, you see, once you've taken me to the other side of the river, I will be so grateful for your help. That it would hardly be fair to reward you with death, now would it? So the frog agreed to take the scorpion across the river. He swam over to the bank and settled himself near the mud to pick up his passenger. The scorpion crawled onto the frog's back, his sharp claws prickling into the frog's soft hide, and the frog slid into the river. The muddy water swirled around them, but the frog stayed near the surface, so the scorpion would not drown. He kicked strongly through the first half of the stream, his flippers paddling widely against the current. Halfway across the river, the frog suddenly felt a sharp sting in his back, and out of the corner of his eye, saw the scorpion remove his stinger from the frog's back. Ouch! Ribbit, ribbit, rib! A deadening numbness began to creep into his limbs. You fool! Croaked the frog. Now we shall both die. Why on earth did you do that? The scorpion shrugged and did a little jig on the drowning frog's back. I could not help myself. It is my nature. Then they both sank into the muddy waters. Of the swiftly flowing river, self-destruction. It's my nature," said the scorpion. Moral of the story: Some people are like slingshots. Their purpose is to go for your throat. You could try to be nice and see the good in everybody, but there will always be some people who will stab you in the back. They have no other purpose. Then to bring you down. Don't waste time using logic on them. Just stay away from them. Watch out for these people. They are dangerous and contagious. The end. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, The Olive Tree.